Sean. Alan, as you know, pride flags are symbols, very important to symbols for many people. But in this community, founded in 1810, the pride flag is unwelcome. It can no longer be flown on public property. It's an Ontario town much like any other, but Norwich is now different in at least one way. And some lifelong residents don't like the reason why. I can't help but think that this thing is completely motivated by hate. At issue here since last year, pride flags. Some of this community didn't want them flying in June, at least not on municipal flagpoles. Norwich is the black hole of Oxford County. Every other municipality in Oxford County embraces pride. Norwich, unfortunately, does not. Two days ago, local councillor Alicia Stubbs resigned after the Norwich Council listened to critics and banned any flags other than the Canadian, Ontario, or municipal flag on public property. It's tough. It's tough, Jim. It's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. It's, we're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't. No, you're damned if you do because it's up against human rights. Ethically um, and morally, I can't um, share space with people and um, have to establish trusting relationships with people about finances and minor variances and things like that with people that I don't think are working in the best interest for our community. Pride flags were the source of that anger. Some residents flying their own flags had them stolen or worse. They went by and, and uh, shot at the house, um, damaged some siding and broke a window. But the flag ban hasn't stopped people from showing their support in creative ways, on stop signs and on lampposts. And despite anger directed at those who support pride, the decision has made many here even more determined to speak out. You know, if there was kind of an icing on a gross cake, <laughs> that it has been like community members that have come together to say like, you know what, no, we're going to, ha you know, hang these flags and we're going to do it proudly. And if they get defaced, guess what, we got 10 more. Now, we wanted to hear from the mayor on this. We telephoned the mayor, we emailed the mayor, we even went to the municipal council office to try to speak to the mayor. Uh, he did not return our calls. And since we got here, uh, we didn't run into anybody who actually supported this public flag ban. Although on the street, we did talk to people who also didn't want to go on camera who said they found this an embarrassment and a poor reflection on this community, the idea that this community would not fly the pride flag on public flagpoles. Alan. Thank you, Sean.